Welcome back. Now we're going to switch gears and we're going to head up to Iowa with Josh Miller. He is a world-renowned dog trainer that has uh, something kind of special that he teaches his dogs to do, and that's fine shed antlers. When you can have a dog that's trained to go sniff these antlers out, you're going to put a lot more treasures in your bag for sure, and Josh has a great way of training these dogs. Let's go take a look. One of my most memorable hunts was I was 10 years old and my dad took me out for rifle opener. It was something that I knew I was looking forward to for a long time of being a part of with my dad. And you know, my dad got a shot off and I can't even describe the emotion that I had, the excitement, the enthusiasm that I had finding that deer. It, it ended up being the biggest buck he's ever killed. And uh, harvesting an animal, that was just a bonus. You know, the, the time that we spent out there was what I remember more than anything. Passing on the tradition is something that I'm very passionate about. And I think it really stemmed from my dad doing that for me and really getting me into it and his dad doing that for him. What shed hunting is, is sometimes as early as December, white-tailed deer, mule deer, what they will do is they will shed the current antlers that they have so that the new ones can grow. When we get out, we, we love looking for, for these antlers. It's just this different type of hunting. You can talk while you're hunting, which is huge for me because I have a very hard time sitting in a blind or in a deer stand not talking and moving. You're getting exercising, you're having fun, and your dog loves it too. You know, it's not just lab people and hunters that do it, it can be anybody. You Good boy, come on, bud. So what we would usually do is we'd start with an antler and we'd just get them excited about it. Good boy, oh yeah, find, yeah, find a bone, find a bone, find a bone. You, you look at a tennis ball. How many dogs do you know that are just absolutely nuts about a tennis ball, right? I know Easton is. That's not genetically bred into them that I want a tennis ball, right? But that retrieve drive is. So if we can channel that retrieve drive into I want the shed antler, then we're gonna make it so he's crazy about shed antlers. As we send Easton out, and he doesn't know where this antler is, but watch his body language, because the wind is really moving left to right as he's going straight down this grass line, and he's gonna catch wind as he goes past it here. 